Hey guys, what's up? My name is Evan Schneider. Welcome back to another video. And today in this tutorial, I wanna teach you guys how to use curves. Curves can be a really powerful tool for a few reasons. First of all, you can find curves in pretty much any editing or color grading software. It's very universal. Second of all, it's pretty light on your processing power. Third of all, using curves gives you a very fine level of detail in your color grade. You'll be able to adjust very specific portions of the image. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use curves in Premiere Pro. However, these concepts apply to any program that uses curves, whether it's Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, or even Photoshop or Lightroom. So we are here in Premiere Pro Creative Cloud, and there's two ways to get curves onto a clip. I can either select it, Go to my effects window and type in curves, and then I can drag the RGB curves up to the effects window. This will bring up my master, my red, green, and blue curves. However, I kind of like working within Lumetri Color, so I'm actually gonna delete this, keep my clip selected, and then open the curves tab in Lumetri. This will open up my Luma red, green, and blue curves, and then also a hue versus saturation curve. Now, RGB curves works in a sort of graph type way. So on the X axis, you have your shadows versus your highlights. On the Y axis, you have your darkest points and your brightest points. So say you wanna make your image brighter, you can make a point right in the middle and then click it and drag it up into the left. If you want to reset your curve, you can double click inside this window. If I want to make it darker, I can make a point, click and drag it down, and it'll make the entire image darker. You can also make as many points on this curve as you want, so you can see that you can get really accurate with things. Now this shot looks like it could use a little bit more contrast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bottom point and I'm just gonna drag it over until my RGB parade shows that all points are touching the bottom line. Next, I'm gonna make a little bit of a curve at the top to bring a little bit of brightness into the shot and maybe boost the midtones a little bit too. Now this is looking pretty good. Before, after, before, after. You can see a lot more detail in the shot and I have a lot of control over what I'm doing to the different parts of the image. So the Luma curve is by far the one I use the most, but you can also achieve some interesting effects by using the red, green, and blue curves separately. So one thing that you can do is if you want your whites to be a little bit warmer, you can bring down this top point of the blue channel just a little bit so that the red and the green are a little bit stronger. This creates a bit of a warm tone to the entire image. Now, once I do that, I can see that the image has a bit of a green cast to it. So I'm gonna to go to my green curve and I'm just gonna bring down this middle point just a little bit. Now you can see before, after, before, after. If I wanted to create a sort of vintage faded look to this shot, I could go to my red channel, make a point down here, and then bring up this point so that I'm pushing some red into the shadows. This is a really easy way to achieve a really fast vintage effect with your footage. So this is before and after, before, after. So I'm gonna to go to my next shot by clicking the down arrow. And in this shot, I can see in my scopes that the blacks are already touching the bottom. So I know that this is a dark scene and it was lit by fluorescent lights. So I don't really need to bring the blacks down anymore. However, I do want to bring a little more detail out in the midtones and highlights. So I'm just gonna create a really soft S curve without bringing the blacks down too much. And then I'm gonna really boost the midtones and the highlights by bringing this up. I can see here that once I did that, I introduced a little bit of a green cast. So I'm gonna to go to my green channel and I'm just gonna bring the midpoint down a little bit. Next, I'm gonna to go to my blue channel and I want it to be a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna take the midpoint here and just push it up a little bit. Finally, my highlights are looking a little bit red. So I'm gonna to go to my red channel and I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit. So as you can see, this is before and this is after. Before and after. I've added a good amount of contrast and I've also removed the green tint from the fluorescent lights. The great thing about curves is that I have the control to add more contrast without losing any of the details in the shadows. Now the key to a good color grade using curves is all in the subtleties. So shifting the line just a little bit, creating an S curve and all of that will really help you achieve the look you're going for. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time.